part two as I go into this. When God calls you and you are having so many children and other things and distractions, not children, but distractions, in, so to speak, around you. Children are also distractions. Um, when the Lord called us, we ought to protect the anointing. And this is why David said in the book of Psalm 23, he could say that with power and with confidence. He said, yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but I fear no evil. Why? Because I know that God is with me. God is covering me. God has called me. He's, will protect, he's protecting me. He, he, he said in the book of Psalm 91 that he will give his angel charge over my life that my foot will not stumble on nothing, on any stone to hurt me. So God is with us. But in order for us to really begin to receive that tangible anointing, that tangible power in our life, that intimacy with God in our life, we have to learn to really learn and listen to the Spirit of God when He speaks to you. Listen from your heart when the Lord speaks. Or to, sometimes He speaks. I don't know how God speaks to you all, but I know when He speaks to me, it's audibly. Sometimes it's extremely loud. That's Abba. Abba is loud. He will tell you straight. It's loud. Don't do this. Don't go here. And you think that other people are hearing you, but no, they're not hearing you. Only you alone can hear what it is that He is saying. And there's a lot of flashlights going on in this day and time. Warning signs, red lights, everywhere is all over the place. Red lights are going on on who you associate yourself with, who you engage yourself with in this season, who you talk to in this season, who you become friends with in this season. So that because let me tell you, they are coming in the form now. You see, because we're in the last days, the devil is very tricky, y'all. And this is why he said, this is what the Bible said, we as children of God are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. That's right. So when God called you, when he placed a calling over your life and you answer to that call, when he placed the anointing and the fire of the Holy Spirit over your life and you answer to those things and you are walking in your true in your truth that God has called you to, there will be lots of distractions. In fact, that's the time that you will hear your name all over the place. That's the time that you were here, people. The people that you thought loved you really did not love you. They came in a form. They came like sheep, uh, excuse me, wolves in sheep clothing. So the devil, now the devil has a way of uh, 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 projecting himself. Himself, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. He has a way of projecting himself. So he will come appearing like he's a Christian. Now. He will be able to quote scriptures to you just like you quote scriptures too. And the Bible says you will know them by their spirit. But there's something about the spirit of the demonic world from a person that you will just know that this is not from God. And this is when you begin to take on that authority. The book of Luke uh, 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 chapter 10 verse 19 said you take on the authority that of which God has given you. And protect your power and your anointing that God has given you. Begin to speak against those things that are coming against your progress. Begin to speak against those things that are coming against your anointing. Begin to bind them up in the name of Jesus. The Bible said whatever you bind up in the heaven shall be bind up right here on the earth. So you bind them up. You bind them up. Just like Satan wants to bind you up. You bind him up also in the name of Jesus. Apply the blood. Apply the blood. The reason why devil don't want you to talk about the blood is because there is a crucial power in the blood of Jesus. Like the Bible said, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is also power in the blood of Jesus. And the minute you begin to use the blood of Jesus, the enemy gets mad and he runs away from you. Why? He said, the, the Bible said, if you don't open a door for him, he will not come. You got to have puddles. If you have part, not excuse me, you got to have puddles in your life for the enemy to come in. That's what I was getting ready to say. You don't have to have part on it positively in your life for no enemy to destroy you. Puddles mean that you have opened up a door for the enemy to sneak in and get you. He allow him not to have no access and you are depending strictly on the power of God. You have to protect your anointing. And in this day and time, you will see that many people will come your way because they smell the fire, the oil, the fragrance of the Holy Ghost upon your life. They smell that thing on you. And the smell on you is because that they, they, want, they want that thing in you. They don't want the, the flesh. <laughs> we wrestle not against flesh and blood. They don't want that. The one was inside of you. And if it takes them to take your soul, that's when you gotta fight. You gotta fight because sometimes they come in all kinds of the enemy will send demons to attack the 
deep core of your heart sometimes they will put spells on you they will put all kinds of diseases and sickness on you you got to really be filled with the power of God and stand and don't back down and stand under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and say to the devil you are not going to do anything to me I come in the name of Jesus and I curse you to the roots I curse your demonic activities to the roots I cancel your plan against my life and the life of my family members to the roots I cancel everything that you have against my ministry against my children I cancel in the name of Jesus and make sure in this time I don't know why God is exposing witchcraft he's exposing demons he's exposing a uh, demonic entities very much in this season I've experienced it and listen I told you guys I was gonna tell you a, a, a testimony but let me finish first with what I got to say hopefully I don't forget about it again I said that last night but today I'm not gonna forget it okay so anywho I don't want to make this too long the devil is coming every way that he can now to snap every life out of you every power out of you and he's threatening your life with death that's what he's starting your life with. He wants your soul. He wants your soul. But I want you to know within yourself and tell yourself each and every day, you will not have my soul. You cannot have my soul. My soul do not belong to you. It belongs to Jesus Christ. I am sold out for Jesus. Say it out of your mouth. I am sold out for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am not in fear. I'm not walking in fear. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord said to me, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a what? A sound mind. So when you are operating in the depths of the spirit realm you got to know that you know that you know that you know that the weapons that are forming against you will never prosper now there are weapons that the enemies are forming against you but it will not prosper why because your lineage is attached to the lineage of God you are connected you are intertwined with the love of God you are intertwined with Jesus Christ the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit you are intertwined with the master himself and no nothing no arrows from the east west south and north coming to wash you can touch you you got to pray and pray with the fire of the holy ghost to 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 to, to, to destroy to sabotage to uproot to 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 destroy every every activities in the assignment the enemy over your life and I will speak that now I decree and declare by the power of God and the authority given to me as a pastor and as a daughter of Christ that everything that will come against the people of God that I have been sent to teach to preach to spread the word of gospel of Jesus Christ and forces of darkness that is keeping you down I want you to say to yourself burn now in the name of Jesus catch on fire we cancel the plans of evil ones over your life we cancel the plans of every demonic world spoken over your life you got to disconnect yourself I said it last night I said you have to disconnect yourself from your exes your ex plays a big role in your life that thing that you thought was gone the minute you see him your heart begin to go boom 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 that means there is still feelings there there is still feelings inside of that heart you haven't yet um uh, 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 forgotten about him completely God wants you to just get rid of all these soul ties all these different things connected that is trying to connect themselves to you God wants you to get rid of so that you can walk in liberty in liberty he said i've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly he wants you to walk in liberty and in order to do so you've got to know who you are you've got to be the warrior and the terror of the kingdom of darkness you got to be the one walking under the umbrella of god you got to be the one in that word of god like you got to eat the word of god like the, like like the, like jehovah told jeremiah well take my word let me shove it down your throat so that you can taste it what does it taste like this like honey that's why the word of god is sweet but it's sharper than like a two-edged sword it'll it will just cut in between it doesn't play now I'm gonna go ahead allow the enemy not to have access the enemy come in forms of people they come in form of different things they will mostly come in form of a human flesh because they need the flesh they need the blood to tack on they need the blood to, to suck they need the blood to eat so they come in that form and when you know I know that I know that I know as long as I've been serving the Lord God Almighty since I was 11 years old the Lord God has been using me mightily and even now in my life is even a more greater because my eyes are open wide to great spiritual things but the, the more thing the thing I want to really uh, stressed about is this Excuse me, y'all. 
Y'all, thank you so much for praying for me. That cold is gone. It disappeared completely. The Lord took it away from me. Although I had to go to the hospital. Well, sometimes you have to do what you got to do in order for you to, for the Lord to use. He used anything he can around you in order to bring healing to you. But you got to claim your healing. And you got to know that you know that you know by, by the stripes of Jesus Christ you are healed. So I'm going to tell you this quick little story. It's not going to be long. This is true. It's real. It happened to me because of the calling and anointing on my life. This is why we don't have a lot of friends around us. I don't care. This is why if you, my child, you got to make sure that you protect mama's anointing. And if you don't protect my anointing and put my business out there like that, guess what? The Lord will deal with you. I'm not going to deal with you per se because if I deal with you, be, I won't do it right. I let God deal with the children. That's right. Let God deal with them. Um, I mean, they have to. You have to protect this thing on your life. You have to protect the Jesus that lives inside of you. You got to protect it, or else the enemy will use every tactic in the world to destroy your character. Anywho, this is short. So I had I was sleeping in in a deep sleep too, very deep sleep, and I began to have this dream. But then, then I, I woke up in between of, of my sleep. So I was like in between up, in between sleep and wake but i could determine everything that was out not determined that's not the, the word, word, word to use i could actually um feel or see everything that was around me so i was in, in this realm of the spirit up and down like up and down like up and down in the spirit in the realm of the spirit and i i i, I, I while i was in the realm of the spirit Two demons appear in my room. The astral projected in my room. There were him and the astral projected in my room in the form of a demon. There were demons. Demons, y'all. And they were all clothed. There were two of them. They were clothed in black clothing. And uh, uh, the hair was gray. So uh, I, I saw this thing in my in, in, in my sleep. And I, I, as I was, I, as I, I began to wake up, I, I needed to wake up. And I began to call in the name of Jesus. Only to find out these things were trying to kill me. They were trying to actually take the breath out of me. It is actually a true thing when somebody said, I can't breathe. I couldn't breathe. And I kept saying, G, 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 it won't come out. G, 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 it won't come out. But somehow, 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 the Holy Ghost allowed my voice. So I said, Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood. And when I said that, those things disappeared. I woke up straight out of my bed. I began to plead the blood of Jesus all over in my bedroom. I began to plead the blood of Jesus all over my house. I ran out of my house. I opened the door. I took my anointed oil. And I think it was around 3 or 2 a.m. in the morning. And people really thought, maybe this girl is crazy. What is she doing? I began to flash the oil all over like a crazy person. You know why? There is power in the name of Jesus. The oil, the olive oil is used as a point of contact to destroy things, to anoint things that nothing will be able to penetrate through it. And I began to anoint and I said, Lord, what's going on? They released me. When they released me, I could breathe. And I said the name of Jesus to disappear. And when I, I went outside of my house, as I began to consecrate the house again, I always consecrate in my house. It's a good thing to do, y'all. Consecrate your house. Keep it safe. Keep the anointing and the power and the Holy Ghost in your house. That's your sanctuary. When I got outside of my patio, I began to speak in tongues. The Lord was using me to speak to crush down things and as i was doing this thing my eye were closed and i could see literally darkness i could see nothing but darkness darkness and as i began to consecrate the place i opened my eyes and when i look up around my house right next door to my house my neighbor house there was a black cat sitting there and i said ah uh ah uh, you actual projector out of your skin and you came out in the cold just to sit on your neighbor's patio i bound you up in the name of jesus and i curse you witches have no we have no sorrow for you i speak death unto you in the name of yeshua amashiach that's what i told him i speak death and you got to be for real when you say that to them i speak death to you in the name of Jesus, you have no business on my territory. You got to take authority over your region, over your territory, and you got to protect that thing with the anointing and the authority God has placed inside of you. Glory to God. May God bless all of you this morning. That's what I wanted to say. I don't want to make this video too long. I just actually got here at work. And I praise God for you all. Thank you for listening to these contents. Please share, 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 share. My biggest thing is that you guys share because there are many people in the world that need to hear these things. And some of them have no way of hearing. 
So please share in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> mm.